Hello friends, I am your friend Tikshi Yara. Welcome to the part 3 of counting figures in reasoning. In this lecture, we are going to discuss how to count rectangles in any figure. So let's start. In this figure, in this lecture, we are going to discuss about three types of figures in which we have to count rectangles. Let's start with the first one. The first type is the figures, contains the figures or is the group of the figures which have column and rows, both equal. So let's start. Uh, you can see I am drawing a figure here. This. This is a rectangle, a big one, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, here we go. Now I will first draw the columns. Columns are from up to down. So first I have one column, two columns, three columns and the last one here the fourth column i have four columns now and now i am going to draw the rows rows are from left to right so i have one row the second row the third row and this is the fourth row now how will we count triangle how will we count rectangles in this figure so first we have to mark numbers let's start with columns we have to mark one from the starting one two three and four there are four columns and now comes the rows so one row second row third row and fourth row now what we have to do sum up these numbers we have to sum up first these one plus two plus three plus four gives us ten and here in the rows we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 again gives us 10. Now what we have to do? We have to multiply these both. We have to multiply these both. And when we multiply 10 by 10 we get 100. Thus there are 100 rectangles in this figure. Now this was the first type in which the columns and rows in a figure are equal. Now comes the third type. And is the columns and rows are not equal. Well, I rough this row. Still now, we have four columns. As you can see, one, two, three and four. But the number of rows has decreased by one. We have three rows. Now, how will we find? The processor is same. Just one plus two plus three plus four. That gives us ten. And one plus two plus three gives us six. Here. So ten multiplied by six gives us sixty. Thus, there are sixty rectangles in this figure. Now these were the first two types. Now comes the third and the most interesting type. It's a bit like this. Now I'll do yes. Now here we go one, two, three, and four. Four rectangles over here. We have four rectangles here in this row. Now about this column one, two, three. And 4 and 5. We have 5 rectangles in this column. Now comes this second row in which we have 1 and 2, 3, 4 and 5. We have 5 rectangles. Now how will we count number of rectangles in this figure? The processor is a bit same but a little bit different. Now we can see 1 we have 1, 2, 3 and 4. We have 4 rectangles in this column, in this row, sorry. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 that gives us 10. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and here this is the fifth column. Here we have 5 rectangles in this column. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 
that gives us 15 right now in this one we have 1 2 3 4 and 5 we have 5 rectangles in this row so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 gives us again 15 now we have to sum these up we have to sum so 10 plus 15 plus 15 gives us 40 but 40 is not correct why because we can see that this rectangle and this rectangle they are both combined in this column and these two rows so the number of joints we will call them uh, as a joint we have this rectangle and this rectangle so we will subtract 2 because there are two joints so 40 minus 2 40 minus 2 gives us 38 thus there are 38 rectangles in this figure and now what about if I draw here like this and again yes now how many rectangles are there here we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 we have 5 rectangles in this column. Now how are we going to find? Well the process is same just 4. In, earlier we had 40. Don't take 38 because 38 was when we took these 2. But here now we have 2 more joints. Right? We have 2 more joints. And again we will add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Again 10. Here 1 to 5 we get 15, 1 to 5 we again get 15 and here 1 to 5 we again get 15. Now 10 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15. When we sum them up we get 55. Well, yes we get 55 and how many joints are there? There are 4 joints, 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 joints. So we will subtract. 4 from 55 and thus get 51 as our answer. Thus there are 51 rectangles in this figure. There are 51 rectangles in this figure. So thank you friends for watching this video. If you like this video please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you are new and please hit the notification bell if you want to receive all messages of new videos from my channel. So thank you friends for watching this video.